All right, so people always want to know what's the benefit of having a one-point sling. So it really depends on what your purpose is for having it. Like this, my AR pistol was set up. So if shit is the fan and you got to go to something like this, it's a lot easier to transition from strong side to support side without a lot of effort. You can come up. Then if something happens, if you have cover or concealment and you want to switch, it's just that simple. Now, can you actually do that with a two-point? Yes, but transitioning from shoulder to shoulder with a two-point involves a little bit more detail. And in most cases, violence happens fast, so time is of the essence. So you want to make sure that you can get busy, get in, do whatever you got to do as fast and efficient as possible. So that's one of the benefits of actually using a one-point sling. But like I said, it also depends on what you're using it for. Can you use the two-point? Yes. Am I a fan of two-point? I like both. But once again, like I said, it depends on what I have going on. In urban environments, there's going to be a lot of obstacles that you end up shooting around. Cars, poles, etc., etc. So you want to use your environment. So if I'm here, I don't want to have to get behind a car and fiddle fuck with my gun if I need to come out the other side of the car. I want it to be here. What if I have to reload? Drop mag, reload, here, transition, shoulder, and I'm right back in it as opposed to sitting here, uh, switching arms around. Um, I might demo one later with a two-point sling just to show the difference, but I know y'all like, y'all y'all hate the talking, y'all wanna see the shooting, so we can get to it. <clears throat> so boom, that is right. And I'm going to use this ammo box like it a vehicle or whatever the case may be. So boom, you end up engaging somebody. Now, of course, if you're predictable in the gunfight, you will be shot. So you wouldn't want to just keep going here, here. You want to switch up what you're doing, right? So like I was saying, the benefit of being able to come up So we already talked about, you know, one point sling. So now another question is, what do you do when your gun runs dry, right? Now, of course, it's always quicker to transition than to actually try and do the reload where you're dropping your mag, going to your backup mag, doing all of that. It's a lot easier to just get the gun out the way, bring your secondary into the fight. So what you'll typically do is if I notice if I'm walking down on a target, boom, I go dry. As I'm moving that out the way, and you start to engage. So, you just have to get used to swinging this out the way and making it a seamless process. So you notice, as soon as I notice the gun isn't working, I begin to swing as I'm drawing, Bring this gun into the fight. Now, if your secondary goes dry, I always suggest loading up your secondary first because it's usually a smoother transition for everybody. So you get here, boom, and here. Now, if you notice that you have time, threat down, boom, holster. Go back here, bring that back up if you still need to get busy. But another thing, if you happen to be in the middle of this, another threat pops out, go right back to your gun that's already loaded and ready to go. Have fun, stay safe.